Thank you. After a week of scandal, the Virginia Virginia has been given an infamous slogan by the front page of the New York Post. You may have seen it by now. It reads Virginia is for losers. Of course, a play on the popular phrase Virginia is for lovers. And now the question, could the negative publicity be bad for the state's economy? Business experts here in the Commonwealth are weighing in. AJ Nwoko has an update. If you thought this week's intense controversy at the Capitol was bad enough for Virginia's brand, a new slogan isn't making it any better. Thursday's front page of the New York Post pretty much sums up the Commonwealth's week of controversy in a scathing phrase, Virginia is for losers. But it's the state's new scandal-inspired slogan, bad for business. And that's everything you don't want to see uh, if you care about job growth and attracting millennials and attracting a workforce to your state. Business consultant John Boyd seems to think so. A major responsibility for a governor uh, in 2019 is to be the salesman in chief of their state. A role Boyd says Governor Ralph Northam can't fulfill while clouded in controversy. Companies don't like uncertainty uh, and, and they don't like this cloud of uncertainty that's over the state. But really, I think the biggest negative is, is this idea of the governor's inability now to make the case for Virginia. But Northam's scandal is just one of the three now dragging Virginia's reputation through the mud as Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax deals with sexual assault allegations and Attorney General Mark Herring comes to grips with his own bout with blackface. Boyd says we could see Virginia's business prospects go to the competition. It's good news for the Carolinas. It's good news for Georgia. It's good news for Florida. It's good news for the states that Virginia is competing with. And Boyd says it's only a matter of time before calls for resignation start to come from the business community. And the ramifications to the state business climate go beyond mere company relocations and expansions. Uh, this will affect the state's ability to attract tourism. On your side at the state capitol, A.J. Nwoko, NBC 12 News.